Hey everybody, and welcome back to more Atlas. Um, I don't know, I don't actually know what Wasted's up to at the moment, but I'm gonna join him on whatever quest he's on, because I don't really want to have to have my own boat and things to manage here. I pop on so rarely that I figure I'll just be someone else's lackey. Wasted's up to some sort of shenanigans though, I'm sure. Wasted, is there something I can do to help? You got the eco points. Eco points? The, the ability to build the eco deco stuff. Um. I might be able to do something like that because I've got points and I could probably. and I can do a re spec. No, it's not that important. Well, I'm all specced in, like, cooking, and since Shaq's handling that, I don't see the point in keeping those points in there. Mm. Is he handling it, though? Oh. <laughs> I just assumed he was. There's a difference between supposed to be and is. Have we got food? Where are the meals meant to be kept? Uh, the one closest to us. It doesn't actually look as this end bit here is actually an icebox. Oh, right. Oh yeah, there's a decent number of meals in there. Eco deco stuff. Does anyone who happens to be in chat have any idea what he's talking about? No! Oh, oh god! Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -hmm. No thanks, don't mind me. Are you... Children, children, are you two fighting? No. <laughs> hey, Zaracti. Hey, the early boat. Now, Bun Kassan or Bun Kassan? <laughs> Correct me. See you, Shark. <laughs> huh, did not realize you would be able to do that and spin around. Right. Decoration stuff, huh? Some captaineering, artillery, medicine, armory. I'll stick with bunk then. Um, right. So, I'm just planning this as a very chill stream. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot, I suspect. Uh, 
wanted just a bit of a chill out time after Top Engineer this morning, which was super fun. I don't know what Wasted's talking about. The decorative thing. Where'd he go? Ooh. Is my stream frame rate, like, incredibly bad? Right now? Just noticed that it looks awful on the preview. I wonder what I can do about that. Atlas is always a bit funny and a bit annoying. In that way. Um, what might I be able to do with this setup? I was just noticing that when I move around there seem to be a few jumps, although now it seems to be a bit better. I don't know. Yeah, the, the Evil Steves are just a currency cringy username. Um, it's just a Twitch thing. Um, I couldn't think of anything better to put in the place as a currency when I first did it, so I've just left it for that for now. Um, what might I be able to do here? What can I drop that's not gonna be annoying? Let's try that. Uh, no appreciable difference with that. Nope. No, I, yeah. I haven't streamed Atlas with this new setup, so I'm not sure what I can do. It's on my game rig, so there's got to be something I can drop that might make a difference. Try turning those off. It still seems about the same on the stream. Yet I got more frames on my end. Like, for what I'm seeing, it looks better having done what I just did. Like, smoother. But from what you guys are seeing, I think it's about the same. Gah! I'm glad you're a bad shot, because I think that was directed at me. No, never. I would I would never do that. Uh-huh. Come on, man. <laughs> right in front of me.
Uh, they do nothing. They do nothing for the streamer. It's just a thing that Twitch want to do to gamify the um, stream experience. I think, as best as I can see, understand. Um, what happens if I do turn that off? Yeah, things still look alright. Oh, but that is not good on your end. Why is this so bad? I must find the space and ask him. Wasted. May I get some IT advice when you have a moment? Okay, that's a weird question. Sure. <laughs> well, I've... Atlas is looking awful on stream. Yet my frames are actually pretty good for my end of things. Um, and as someone else who has the dual rig set up, I was wondering whether you might have any insight into why. It's partly Atlas. And the fact that its textures and, and its color palette really don't like the compression uh, and don't work very well with the compression. It's quite high motion, lots of details, lots of sharp edges. And of course, sharp edges is something that doesn't compress very well through um, the codex. Um, I've had better luck if you can't run X264 medium, at least, using NVIC. Well, the, the issue seems to be... Game when i've like even in my preview window in obs so what i've what i've got set up is my i obs full screen preview oh, to a monitor preview window yeah yeah which should just be a rescaling thing so i shouldn't be particularly intensive no matter how i do it you're rescaling yes which I, way down no, no, no. Which there's more than one way of rescaling oh. in OBS. Which one are you using? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> like, have you changed the video settings to actually output scaled resolution? Blah 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 blah. Or have you done it by actually scaling down the window? Uh, both, I think. So I've got I've got a nineteen twenty by ten eighty canvas because my uh, capture card just doesn't like twenty five sixty by fourteen forty. Otherwise, I would have just duplicated my main screen. But when I do that, everything shifts down by ten pixels, so I get a black bar up the top and half of the and a little bit off the bottom missing, and have not been able to fix okay, that. that seemed that seems a bit weird. Uh, it's kind of like an overscan error. Auto to fix that to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, okay. So, so you've got it coming in as a 1920, 1080, or have you got it? So I'm playing Atlas at 2560 by 1440. I have OBS with a 1920 by 1080 canvas. And the cap card is sending what? 1440 or 1080? The capture card is is receiving 1080. How is it receiving 1080 if you're running at 1440? Because I use OBS to do a full screen preview to an extra monitor, which is 1920 by 1080, which is the capture card. Okay, that is some... Um... Weird roundabout setup. Uh, I know. It was just what I could get working at the time until I can get the 1440 thing working. It's got to be something to do with that, honestly. Like, 
I mean, potentially, is it possible you've got a GPU overload issue on one of the rigs, like on yours, running the preview? Uh, it's possible. Yeah, it could be. It's running at 92 right now, 92%, 93. Yeah, I think that might be your issue. Atlas is pretty heavy on the rig. I wonder what settings I can drop that will work. Well, Atlas is not very CPU intensive because it's almost exclusively single core. So you could try actually running X264 fast or something on your main instead, rather than MBank. Uh, my main my main's not actually recording or anything. It's just previewing. might still be enough though does it look weird on the preview window yeah the preview window has low frames like much lower than the yeah, game then, then yeah then that that is you're you're, you're over you're over using mm. the graphics card it can't it can't keep up you're gonna have to switch to x264 on your rig for preview did not uh, let's try See if that makes I'm a looking, difference. I'm looking across at my GPU usage on the 1080 Ti at the moment, and it is 100% locked all time. <laughs> yeah, and I'm on a 1080, so I've not got quite mm -hmm. the same overhead as you do. That that looks a bit better. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, and wasted if you wanted to. I'm in TeamSpeak. Yeah, I only jumped down the channel because I didn't want to be that dude that's talking in the background while you're trying to do something else. All good. <laughs> I was like, um, I'll just sit here and if wasted wants to, because it looked like you went offline. Oh, maybe I just couldn't see inside recording. Ah, yeah, yes. Because I've only just given you admin rights, you need to right-click on each channel and subscribe to them. That would be why I didn't know you were there. That's if I'd how known you we, were there, I would have just jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, these are for the next time Shaq jumps on the strip, ship and starts swinging around the mosque playing silly music. <laughs> the little cannons. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. Nuki got it in chat just in time. Are you setting up anti shag devices? Exactly, sir. Exactly what I am doing. Yeah, we can call them decks we can if we want, but they are intended for one specific use and one specific use only. You can ride, can't you? Uh, I can indeed. Uh, how's our crew limit looking? 16 of 18 with us on board? Could probably bring both bears. Alrighty. Do you want to grab it? Oh, I missed. And that way we can go on a bit of an adventure if we want to. Sounds good. I just need to... This bear's actually carrying a bunch of stuff that I was... Because I was using this bear to work on the bar last night, so I need to go and drop right. that off quickly. It's got, like, galleon parts on it and so on. Hey, how's the galleon coming along? Come down and have a look. You need to see the um, the potential, because this is the sort of project that like, if you're looking for something to do, noodling around on this and trying to work out how it, the hell it's going to work is definitely one of the options. Because <laughs> it's like, I'm starting to get there, but it's a massive project to try and sort of think around. Yeah. Go and run up the side and you'll see sort of how far I've got with the overlapping. Right. So the ceilings that I can see in there, they're part of the ground structure, not part of the galleon. Exactly. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, the, the planks and decks and everything will go over the top of that just fine, but if we build these first, we can essentially build structures in here that we would not normally be able to and get around some of the annoying build limits that galleons have. Uh -huh. Galleons can only have a 400, can only fit 450 items on them total. Uh, and with the holes in the decks, etc., that can be enough on its own to mean that you basically don't have much on there. So this will uh, hopefully get around some of that problem. And it looks like it's um, pretty happy to clip. Yeah. I'm figuring this is probably going to be the way in up here. I'll have the way in off the back so that the front's not spoiled. Yeah, yeah. Can you leave a hole in the very back of it? Uh, weirdly, um, I mean, yes, actually, the height's right. We could um, leave a hole and come in through either side here. Yeah. That'd work. I just need to put some half stairs down so that you don't have to jump over this every mm. time. Because I reckon that'd be pretty cool, entering at the back of the ship. Mm hmm You see what I mean, though? It's like there's a lot of options here, and it just sort of takes a few eyes and a lot of playing around yeah. to work out what's actually going to look cool. Plus, then you get to walk past the anchor as you enter. Mm -hmm. No, I think no, I'm with you. I think that's quite cool. And line that up so that you come in through the back. Hello, Mr. Bear. They do that when you level them up. Something underwater over there having a fight. Is it Shack and a shark, or is it just a shark and Shack shipyard? Let's see what happens with that. Oh, it's a shark and a feral. I see. There's a feral lurking underwater. I think shooting it with arrows. Either that, or he's having trouble. Shark. Mm. Yeah, yeah, a very unfriendly neighborhood shark. Got him. Hey, stream. I'm gonna try something. You guys tell me if the frames get better over the next few minutes. I'm gonna try making it so I'm only generating one preview, which is the one that's going to the capture card. It seems like it's a little bit better after I did that. To me. I hope. Hey Shaq. You feel like doing a mercy killing? You what what now? My vitamins are low. I'm about to die. <laughs> Thought you might like. Uh... Thought you might enjoy that.
Yeah, loads of vitamin. You don't know, you want to get too low on the vitamin PB. No. At least Shaq did it in one hit this time, though. Unlike someone. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. I don't think you were talking crap about you, though, Shaq. Yeah, it was the opposite, Shaq. I said, at least you killed me in one shot, unlike someone. Oh, well. Time for another court date. <laughs> Wasted vitamins aren't also low. Wasted vitamins are perfectly balanced and down the centre. So well, in fact, that I have the vitamin equilibrium boost. This is not, not accurate. Where's the cat? Most of the damage dealt to gear in this island is dealt with by it, dealt by its occupants. And they're busy shooting each other. Make sure you've got everything you might need, Mr. Splits. I did reload the um, tools cabinet yesterday with sextants and spy glasses and whatnot, and you know, all that sort of stuff, grapples. I think I'm good. Uh, just gonna fill up my water thingy. The water skin? How sensible. Wait. You're trying to fill it from an empty one? It would seem so. You know you can put it in the tap in here. Oh, does the tap have an inventory? Yes. Did not know that. Well, that makes more sense. Yeah, I mean, yeah, once you've got the um, sort of inventory system set out, you don't need to mess around with that anymore. Yeah. Much better. I suppose I might go play that sextant game. Yep, I was about to. Shack Scorpion Tamer. Yeah, we could probably arrange this. <laughs> no one tell him that scorpions can't be tamed. <laughs> You've just got to get to the right position, near their face. In perfect strike range. That's where they trust you best. No. What's no. no? The enemy has risen. What? Alpha Seagull. <laughs> is there an Alpha Seagull down there? There is an Alpha Seagull. <laughs> Let's see if I can anger him by killing his friends. Oh, seems unbothered by that one. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Ah, I lost it. What's the deal? What you doing to yourself? Oh no, just failing at the sextant game because it went over the apex of my 
like went perfectly vertical for a second. And then yeah, spins. and when it's it's very hard to keep on track when they do that. Yeah. Still Remarkably got complete hard. Still got the long buff though, so it's all good. Um, I didn't design this room with that in mind. Uh, oh, actually, maybe. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Cannot be allowed to continue. Sorry, Farrah. I wasn't sure whether you wanted that on or off. Oh, that's good. <laughs> You're welcome. The war continues. It was an alpha scumbag. Can't be allowing those on the I plate. saw it took a round from you, so yeah, I needed to die. Unacceptable. The last time I was oh, on... some clear skies. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's such a nice one to do it. Nice time to do it. The only upsetting thing for me was that uh, my death marker is making it slightly challenging. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. Which doesn't want to go away despite me having hacked up my own corpse. Yeah, yeah I've had that happen. I don't know what makes it behave like that, but yeah. So desperately wants me to fall off this crow's nest trying to get these blooming stars. <laughs> Crisscrossing them back over the mast is like, yeah, let's just make sure you need to wiggle just a little bit more. I'm sure you definitely won't fall. This one, and it will remain unpainted. The wheel looks pretty. Rest of it, not sure on the colour. Rest of rest of it looks better at night. The colour is a little more flamboyant than I was expecting from you. 
Well, I'm trying to find a good combo, and that's just not it, because the, the dark's not dark enough for it to stand yeah. out like I wanted, you know? You're kind of looking for more of a... Um, almost midnight kind of colour? I'm guessing? In the purple? Yeah, something along those lines. Sort of midnight black. Um, and, so it's kind of that and, sorry, sort of a, a black and then a, a sort of midnighty sort of purple. And then the, I wanted the gold to be really, really bright in comparison. Not that almost pink, yeah. weirdly. You know, it's, it's, what's even more stranger is that is the same colour that I am wearing on my clothes. And, like, they don't match. Nope. Even even colourblind space can tell you that they don't match. Yeah, you're right, food. The, the black current ends up, which is a nice colour on other stuff, ends up being weird on boats. Uh, do you want to throw me your lantern quickly, Splits? Sure. You want up? What do you need that for for a moment? Oh, you made it Change white. its colour to something that doesn't see your eyes. <laughs> so in Space Engineers, we turn our lights yellow, and in Atlas, we turn our lights white. It's actually sky, apparently, that colour. So, <laughs> so it's, yes. it's, uh, it's sun, the bluey tinge. Yeah, it's, it's you know, a tight little blue hint to it. Um, that and slate seem to be the best colours for... Uh, Doing anything with the um, do lanterns to make them like usable? Do you want me on a mast or do you want me up in a crow's nest? You're good on a mast. Uh, we're good for masts. Your job is more crow's nest and cannons and grapple. The all of the cannons on the back desk deck are uncrewed. They're player crew. Ah, okay. Yeah, thrash. Like the reds don't come out proper reds on them. There's something about the um the wood texture in this. They've made this decision to make the paint look like it's very very weathered and faded, which is kind of fine until you see one of the rusted blocks that have been painted and realise that they look really good when it's a much more I don't know block nice saturated colour. Yeah. It what poetic's saying more of a stain than a paint. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take into account I don't want to extend that um stuff down there too far. Otherwise I will not be able to turn my ship around anymore. <laughs> yes. Although the front pokey bit doesn't look like it's actually got any collisions because I tried to walk out no, on it, it before and I fell through it. No, it doesn't. Which is, I don't know. It frustrates me that they put those things on. They sell them as figureheads and they very clearly have the correct positioning and parts and everything you need to be running a jib off the front or a spinnaker off the front and then it's not there. Yeah. And it just makes, they look weird. Can you imagine how much cooler they'd look if they had that proper front sail on them as well? Mm -hmm. Alright, DI classifies a good card, Neo. You sure you want to upgrade now? You could get away a little bit longer on that, I think, and see whatever um, NVIDIA and potentially AMD have next. Yeah, and when stocks eventually arrive for them is going to be the other issue now. That's a fair point. 
Um, That's a fair point. Actually, yeah, I might change my recommendation because, of course, anything on those lines is now going to be a lot more delayed than it was. Yeah, like I, I'd be surprised if we see Navi or Amp here this year, almost, if it, with the way things mm -hmm. are going. And that's a fair point. If you're running at 2K, then yeah, you're also giving that 980 Ti a bit more hassle, and even its VRAM starting to look a little low because it was at that point. It was Is between it the six? nine and the tens where it's six, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was between the nine and the ten where Nvidia finally went, oh yeah, and people also need lots of VRAM, so let's put proper amounts of VRAM on all the cards. You know, you get 1060s with six gigs now. <laughs> Top of the range. The previous was the only one that had that. Yeah. I have cold order. Their rapid response fleet dock's really nice, and we may take some um, cues from that when we come to do stuff here. But at the moment, basically our entire building that we currently live out of is going to be rebuilt into a ship dock. Once we've got the galleon bar and the building all over, all over there sort of finished, that's where we'll live, rather than on the island. Uh, and at that point, I'll re you know, we can redo the whole dock thing and work out what makes sense if we would actually pull up. Yeah, the 980 Ti is just kind of right in that mid zone of yes, you'll notice a difference going up to a 2080, but it's almost got enough that you'd want to wait. I don't know. I'd say at this point, 980 Ti is probably approaching 2060 levels of performance. Hmm. You got to remember you've, you you had the 1080 Ti sitting in between, and to be honest, that series did noticeably. Yeah, upgrade as well. Like the 1080 Ti is a noticeable jump from the. Jump. Mm. Yeah, I can't remember where the 980 Ti sits. In the... I have one in my second rig, but uh, I gotta be honest, it doesn't do much these days. Yeah. Envic occasionally. Yeah, they, they didn't go put the RAM up for the 20 series, so I think that, that sort of says that they're uh, happy with the sort of 8 gig amount at the moment. Seems to be the sort of norm now for pretty much most cards, and occasionally you see ones a bit above that, but not that often. Hmm. I might get down on deck just in case I do see a thing I can. Yeah, it may well be worth grapple. hanging around down here. It should be um, reasonably easy to grapple from the front as well. There's a spot either side without a railing. Especially as if we do come across any appropriate nasties, uh, I will probably be removing them. Uh, however, I did not dawn on me I haven't run around and checked the state of the ship recently, so maybe I won't. <laughs> maybe I'll do that on the journey back, having checked whether or not we're repaired. <laughs> I seem to remember my last journey involving a large fleet of the dam that I definitely got hit by a few times. And I don't okay. remember repairing it afterwards. But I, it was big enough I didn't want to fight it, but I couldn't avoid taking a few shots because they aggro on brigs much more easily. Bigger the ship, obviously the larger the aggro radius, and they like to come running for the brig. Makes sense. The moon's not too close. This planet just has gravitational pull and therefore tidal waves and tidal, um, not tidal waves, but yeah, a tidal period, I guess, that's insanely powerful. Can you imagine? Our island would be like 20 feet underwater most of the time. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's a really low-density moon. Somehow. Hmm. Made of cheese! That's the answer. Actually, no, cheese is... Cheese is fairly dense. After, yeah, you need to be pumice or something. Now I want to... Because I'm me. Part of me is now immediately wanting to know what the mass calculations would be if the moon was weighed out of cheese. Would it weigh more than the current moon? 
Or less. <laughs> and, and which cheese? Mm. Come on, chat. You should know the answer to this. There's only one answer. We know what cheese the moon's made out of. Oh, don't remind me about cheese. I had a really, really nice aged... It's a, It's called Mimolette. It's like an aged Gouda sort of thing. Um, <laughs> I ate about half of it and then was like, yep, going to eat more of that the other night. And nope. It had the wrong type of mold on it. <laughs> Very disappointing. Not, not, not the good type. No. Yes, thank you, Moldock. About time someone got it right. Do you remember rightly, a little right, Wallace only said it was a bit like Wensleydale, but... Uh, right, hold there. Yeah, the ships don't do hold there particularly well. <laughs> the oversteer is real. Yeah! Good catch, nice. Got some gold coins, got a song for my accordion, and a couple of other things. Um... Got some berry tea. Some oh, common, common roof blueprints. And stone pillar. Don't think I'm going to be able to reach that one, but I'm going to give it a crack. Oops, sorry, I missed that. Hang on, mate. Yep. I'll do a loop for that one. That looks like it's... um. Either masterwork or mythical. I'm not very good at telling the colours of the um, flotsam. It's, it's purple. What's purple meant to be? I think purple is masterwork, yeah. There we are. Uh, oh, blueprint, fine wood staircase. Oh, boiled. And got a, another hard mockatoo once told me. Ah, uh -huh. perfect. Ah, uh, I can't wait to show off something that I bought the other day. Bought yesterday, actually. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I am going to tell you it's a musical instrument. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun. To be honest, at that point, anything's a winner. Yes. And one small enough to keep near my desk. Interesting. He says near his desk, not on his desk. So that probably rules out the... Oh, I, I mean, I could put it on my desk. I've got a pretty big desk. No, no, I'm not going to get that. <laughs> That's too far away. Mm, sorry. Oh, that's alright. I just I started going for it. I'm like, no, no, that's not. Winds are garbage. Is it a violin? Uh, no, I, I would not submit people to me learning how to play yeah. the violin. Of all of the instruments while you're learning, that's got to be up there as one of the most obnoxious. Yeah. I mean, seriously impressive once you can play it well, but horrendous when you're learning. It It's like a recorder, basically, while learning. Whee! And... What? Stupid thing. How did I miss that? I might have slowed down quite a bit, to be fair. <laughs> We're almost stationary, that's probably my fault. There we go. Uh, journeyman wood floor. That's not terrible. The wood floors are the most useful of them. 66. Uh, not floor, sorry. Ceilings are the most yeah. useful. And floors not useful. Ceilings are good because yeah. you use them on boats, but... Did get some war drums. Oh, are we going to have war drums on this thing? Um, hmm. 
I have to find out how big there are. They might be. There might be room on the deck at the top behind me. Yeah, that'd be for a cool. set of for a set of war drums back there. Because I'm pretty sure what war drums do, like all of their stuff, is specifically to do with like cannon reload speed and things like that. Yeah. Let me see. No, this one? Like they're, they're designed to be used yep. on a boat, basically. This song increases cannon reload speed. <laughs> Raise okay. the colours. No, I think there's a few, but yeah. Oh, if you hold, I might be able to get this purple one. Oh, maybe you need to turn a little right. I think I need to turn in a little bit. No, Splitsy said it was an interesting one and it might fit on his desk. So I think um, whoever was going for the uh, theremin might be right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jeez, these are options. Some of these are options. Some of these options that are coming up, I'm like, that's stuff I couldn't even have thought of. Uh, masterwork like, no, stone but pillar. I wish I had. <laughs> and a large wood gate. And war drums, the Briner's Ballad, which increases repair speed. Nice, nice. And a box to our right. Which you kindly just came to a complete stop for. <laughs> I noticed you were on the wrong side, and therefore we're never going to have a chance in hell of getting it. So, yeah, all right, we'll, we'll slow down a little here. Uh, fine wood door. That's probably not too bad, is it? No, that's reasonable, yeah. I'm trying to remember what I've listened to recently that has a theremin in it, where, the, like, the theremin's actually... It's one of the rare times you're like, hey, that theremin's tuneful. <laughs> mm. And appropriate. Rather than just weird. <laughs> Mournful and weird, yeah. And yes, the theremin is the thing that was, was born of uh, horror soundtracks, rather than... <laughs> Journeyman Medium Gate. Mm, all this exciting stuff. Yeah. The only real reason I, use I can see for us having with those is maybe when we build the fight pit. If we make the fight pit strong enough, we can have swivel cannons around the top pointing in, just in case things get out of hand. <laughs> that way we won't, we won't uh, blow the hell out of the arena as we do so. Yes. Yes, that would be preferable. Shadow, it's not the brakes. I'm backing the sail into the wind, which um, would actually slow you down really quite rapidly. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do it this easily, but it, and it would have other um, negatives associated with it. Oh, dang it. Oh, no. Oh, you got lucky there. Ah, uh, yeah, well, sorry. Oh, good. The first one you've missed, I think. So, well, I can't complain. Second, I'm rubbish. Second, at it. you did do a U-turn for one. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, I'm rubbish at it, so I am not going to complain in the slightest. Yeah, shipwrecks we can't do in this boat, I'm afraid, guys. This this boat is more about making them than diving for them. Why is one of my cannons open? One of your cannons is open. Ah, I wonder why we were going relatively slowly. Yeah, one of the NPCs had just decided he was going to open a cannon port down the bottom. Uh, which is that something slows you can do down from how... where you are? Or... Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as there's an NPC on it, I can do it. Yep. Um, if there's no NPC on a cannon, then I can't. Well, hello, dead ahead of us. All right, there. Have you got any friends? Uh, it's looking pretty lonely. You are looking very lonely. That. that... I wouldn't want to leave a lonely fellow like this without friends. Shall I head up to the rear of the ship? If you fancy. I'm just sort of going past a little bit to double check that he definitely doesn't have any friends. Because I've been lured into this one too many times. Yep, look, there you go. He does have uh... a friend, but his friend is a little too far away to do anything about it. His friends are... There's an orange oh God, one and that a one's green a bit closer. one. And then the... Well, the and he's legs. going back to his friends now. Look at them. Legs. 
sneaky little gits. Cheeky. I think Mr. Schooner, though, might already have decided he's interested. You interested, Schooner friend? You can come play. Yep, he's coming. You can see the point where he got close enough. I was like, ooh, okay. Okay, back to the chase guns. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'll do things. As I turn in towards him here, this is where you're going to get shots to fire, yeah. Oh, nice. So for just you want to get some you want to get some loot that's actually worth it. Yeah. How do I? How do? Is there stuff? There is a box off the back of the ship. I'll swing us around a little oh, bit. Back. Yeah. When they die, they drop silent crew. Oh yeah, I see the box. And a box of goodies, and those boxes are where you get the nice blueprints. I can't. I don't think you want ship. Yep. Got it. Yeah. yeah, you want ship blueprints and stuff? Those boxes are the ones that generally give them to you the most. Uh -huh. um, masterwork medium wood plank. Nice. Um, that could not be more perfect. Because the last one thing this boat is missing to make it as strong as it could be, outside of a few more points put into crew capacity, is all of its... Was it a deck or a plank? Plank. Perfect, yeah. All of its planks on this are standard. Uh, uh, where should I put this stuff? Uh, there's a little box just inside the door on the right. On the left, sorry. On the left? I'm not helping you in the slightest. <laughs> No, it's it's on the right of the ship, so you are correct. It's right of the ship, but it's on the left of the door as you come in. Right. Nope, that would be an ammo box. That would be the wrong box. Whoops. I see three out there, Shadowstorm, plus the one we killed. That'd be four. Uh, is there a... Oh, yep. oh, the preserving bags don't have any... Oh, no, do a one of them salt. should. I put salt in one of them. You did. It just didn't have, doesn't have the glow for me at the moment. So oh, yeah, I don't know what that's all about. It doesn't seem to be coming and going, that glow at the moment. Well, to answer your question earlier, Shadowstorm, as regarding music in this, yes, it does work like Sea of Thieves, except on hard mode. Um, in that, in Sea of Thieves, you just hold down the button and it plays the tune, and anybody can join in whenever they want. In this, you have to form a band and then everybody has to play the right button presses together. Oh! Okay. Okay, that's the first time I've seen one of them. Da, 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 Two of them. Turning around. Nope. Wow. We, we'll end up going through one of them regardless. Don't worry, Splitter. You'll, you'll get to experience it, but. Um, oh, no, I wasn't. I'm okay. I've just never seen one before. Screw these things. They're not fun. No part of those things is fun. Well, actually, I... Oh, um, hi there. Whoa. Gap. Can you go repair hammer instead of guns? We're just going to run. Uh, how do I do repair hammer? There's a repair hammer in the box, same one you were using before. You get it okay. and you whack it on things, and it yep. uses materials from our inventory instead. The only bit you can't repair that way is sail canvas. You actually have to go up to the up to the thing and hold E on it to do sail canvas. 
it. You got it. Uh, the little mini game, by the way, just makes it repair quicker. Doesn't have any other effect. We appear to be okay. Yeah, we took a fair few knocks up there. The railings tend to be the bits that take it the worst. Uh, and then I think there was some plank damage as well. Let me see if something's got damage. When you look at it, it'll have oh. Uh, numbers. Oh yeah, something says 4,000. The cannons are really hard to see the numbers on. Like everything else is quite straightforward. The cannons are a pain in the backside. Is it left or right click? E. For repair. Uh, left click. Or you can press E. You know, the hammer um, is just quicker uh, and gives you the minigame. Yeah, I just can't seem to get the hammer to hit this one bit of wood triangle ceiling that's damaged. Mm hmm. That sounds about right. As far as people say, unleash hell, fire, 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 I would, had I done what I should have done, and as you always should do before heading out on a ship, and do a full walk around and make sure it's in good condition. I didn't do that before we left, so I don't know what things are like downstairs, planks. Wise. Especially why it's just me and Splitsy on here as well. You don't want to get into too much trouble. <laughs> Alright, I'll just keep wandering around and see what's damaged and see what I can fix. Roger that. And I'm being told to go below decks as well. Yeah, the main one is below decks, the planks and the gun ports. Because if any one of those ends up getting destroyed, then you've got a hole in the boat. They're a bit of a pain, but you're just sort of scraping along walls looking at them, basically. Yeah, indeed, Stubby. Real life and in game. Pre sailing checks, important. <laughs> wasted. Did not do it. He's a bad person. Yeah, I can joke. Wind is um, very much trying to push us into the dam, doesn't it? It wants us to go that way. Going too early. Oh, it's so annoying the bits that you can only get by pressing E and you have to just wait. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, that is a downside of the damage of the ship. A uh, design of this ship. You don't normally use quite so many triangles. And I suspect that when it does come point to make the second combat variant, uh, she won't be quite as pretty as this one. <laughs> just because prettiness and combat don't go very well together. No. Honestly. Out of this mini game. Thankfully, it doesn't really do anything. 
the only time that mini game's relevant is if you're in like proper PvP combat, where yeah. you can't just run away, you know. And that point, repair speed actually matters. Or I suppose if we were to actually go into a fleet like that and try and take him on. Hmm. Something that's going to be a bit more of a prolonged... So, yeah, engagement. something a bit prolonged where you are definitely getting hit, you know. Especially if we want to take on one of the galleons, because while this is a nicely armed ship, those galleons have similar cannons, to, a similar amount of cannons to a player one. Um, so that's like 28 a side. Yes, there was quite a lot of damage done to this ship. Oh, is there wear and tear in this? Eisen's saying that yes, some of this might is. be wear and tear that I'm finding. Yes, indeed. No, no. There, yep, there is. Um, you get, like, a constant decay rate on ships just to represent sort of a wear and tear aspect. Um, and that's dramatically reduced when they've been anchored for a little bit. You might have noticed sometimes ships have a green anchor above them instead of a white one. Uh, if it turns green, it means you're sort of, you've been anchored for long enough to be docked as far as the game's concerned. And at that point, oh. you take like dramatically reduced damage from pretty much all sources. Okay, makes sense. I'm slightly sad that I um, managed to accidentally, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but accidentally repaint the sails. bottom set are not supposed to be blue. <laughs> They're blue? In if you look at them in comparison to the top Oh, ones. they are too. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here groveling on the ground near you, trying to repair as much as I can. Uh, that's what he says he's doing. Tribute, that's what we call it. <laughs> yeah, so I just, sure. To be honest, at, at some point I have to go through and actually um, right redo the sails on this ship anyway, because while I, I like my man with his guns, repeating the image three times over like that without any colour behind any of it is a bit... Naff? It, it, just, just not right, you know, it's naff and no one would ever do it. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's right. Repair hammer broke. That's why I bought three. I take it you don't have a smithy on board to repair that? I don't think this ship does have a smithy, no. Okay. Right, I'll do below I'm deck pretty sure that was one of my um, conscious decisions. Partly because the, uh, the the smithy weight stuff, stuff obviously and having extra weights now are great when you know you're going to load yourself up with cannonballs and cannons and partly yep. because when you have a smithy on a boat it inevitably ends up filled up with random stuff because people put things in it to repair things and then never put them back into the resource box again yeah and so it's extra weight that's just and so it just builds up and you forget about it and it's not in the right place, you can't use it for repairs, it, you know, it's just, it's almost better if there isn't a, a smithy on there for people to mess around with, you know, just make sure you bring enough tools and that's, 
worth knowing, I will bring more repair hammers in future. Or make some really shiny repair hammers. Masterwork repair hammer. Now I just hear swinging noises from below. <laughs> An occasional, <laughs> whee! And then occasional, oh. Well, that's a good point, actually. Repair hammer is made in your inventory, so you don't need to fix it in a smith. You can fix it in your oh. inventory. Okay. I'll try and repair this one when it dies, then. Mm -hmm. Ooh. How many is that? That's... Eight, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty cannons aside. I think I counted that right. What is going on with the waters of our cell today? What do you mean? There's just ships of the damned everywhere. Oh. It looks like we might have a new task today, Splitsy. Oh yeah, we're fighting ships. I think we, once we pull up at the island, unload some of the stuff we got with us, maybe uh, put the bears on there for safekeeping as well, uh, we might have to go and do a bit of cell clearance. Are we back near the base? We're, we're not back near our base. We're, we're near the second one we've got, the top oh, of one. Okay. Now, that, that, that little three-peak island over there is the uh, one we're after. Just checking, because I think I heard a capac moving around. Oh, I like that asterisk, yeah. Red boxes on each deck with a hammer, pa hammer, pail, and a water skin. Every deck, mm. you have a bright red box, and it's just got your repair materials, your, your repair, repair equipment and saving equipment in it. Hey, yeah. Capex coming on, he can always, um... I don't know how much gear he's got, he he's joining us for some, some blasting. There's always, uh, we're about to pull into one of our other bases he can fast travel to, and we can always make him a bit of clothes and so on there. Oh yeah. Well, um, once we... You don't really need pistols and whatnot for this, do we? We just really yeah. need grapple. Once we, once we get there, I'll um, go and actually, physically ask him. I'll walk in there. <gasps> no. Since we no longer share an office. I'm gonna stomp in there. <laughs> yeah, that must be weird. Not having mic feedback all the time. Well, yeah, it's, it's kind of. It's nice in some ways, because uh, he's been able to stream when I've been editing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, kind of sucks in some other ways, like when we're both just chilling out playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because then yeah. we still have no, to use I... TeamSpeak. Yep. No, no, I know exactly where you're coming from there. But there's a reason that even long before I had... Uh, and, you know, long before I used a second rig for streaming, I still had a second rig. Hmm. You know, all of my old parts always went into a second rig that's, like, capable enough that if ever a friend pops round, you know, we, our friends would rather pop round and jump on a second rig than we sit on TeamSpeak. It's just not the same, you know? Yeah. That's not a bad call, actually, Shaq. A Steam Link. Because then all you need is, like, a monitor, a mouse, and keyboard. That's true. I know that's how um, Shaq and Tabby Oops. do it. Didn't mean to do that. I opened a gun port. Well, now look, we did. Suppose <laughs> that one, all the other ones open. <laughs> that better? No, there no, we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird being down here and seeing all these people just slide forward and slide back. <laughs> now there's no question a bit of PC gaming in the same room as people I mean there's a reason LAN parties still exist mm -hmm. for example and they're still good fun uh, and yeah and the audio difficulties are tricky but even then you can normally get around them and it's nice at times to be able to just look over your shoulder yeah. Like, because mine's behind me to my left, for example. So I can just look look over my shoulder and I can see exactly what's going on on that screen.
I'm hearing talk that Farrell gets seasick playing this game. Uh, he gets motion sickness, yeah. Oh. He has, um, as far as I'm aware, pretty much sorted that out, but... I don't know, I might depend a little bit on what the waves are like. Might be a man that prefers a calmer sea. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know too many hardcore gamers who get much motion sickness. Most of tend to, over time, just get their in, uh, their inner ear used to that. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I have to play full screen and with all camera shaking off or disabled. Oh, I imagine he'd have a terrible time with station ears. That thing, the torch light bounces around. Mm hmm Relative to the camera. I, I, I could do sailing when I was younger, Xavier. Well, what's the relation? I feel like at some point we need to get Splitsy and Capac like a little schooner gumbo. Run around at high speed around the battle. <laughs> a couple of on board. A couple of like big old cannons on the front of it and nothing else. <laughs> that sounds more like a Capac boat. Um, honestly, I I gotta say, with, with Atlas, I really like the idea of just being the lackey, of not having my own thing to worry about. Really? And oh, maintain. Fair enough. Um... Because so often, like, with Capac and I, I have to be the responsible one. I'm the one who maintains stuff. I'm the one who makes sure stuff's working. I'm the one who maintains blah, blah, blah. So it's nice mm -hmm. to just not be that. And just be <laughs> the one that helps. Fair enough. Um, and it means I can, like, anytime you're on and I'm available, I can jump on and just join in. Rather than going, mm -hmm. oh, I've got these things I was meaning to do. I don't know where you're coming from. Yeah. I'd rather be, um... Hopefully additive to other people's content than <laughs> trying to deal with making my own... Uh, oh, this is... My own ship. Yeah, docking at this island is interesting like the only deep piece of water on the entire island that comes up to the shore and it happens to be so deep that you basically have to crash into the island in order to anchor ah uh. oh speaking of <laughs> Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, oh yeah, you would blow decks. You don't even know me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually think I can drop the anchor there. For some reason or another, the sea's ever so slightly deeper where the dining plan is than it is where I am. It's quite nice seeing the two ships next to each other with similar but not the same paint jobs. The sort of more ostentatious one and then the the more muted version. Oh, yeah. Huh. Had to go to... Is this, um... So what's this building here? I haven't been here before. Yeah, this building here is our, um... first little outpost for resources, because... as you may have noticed, our island not exactly flush. No. So, yep, little outpost with, I mean, a bit similar to what's going on on our end. There's Jack Texas built himself a little building sort of into the dock. Oh, 
God, this is a nightmare place to park. You go to the K cam, you can actually get the camera to go under the water. And you'll see what I mean about how your choices are so shallow you're going to hit the ground or so deep you can't anchor. Not ideal. At some point, D, I think we might want to, I mean, I might come over and, because I think I can make them, I'm not sure how many other people can, but get some boys down to indicate where you, ironically, to indicate where you can anchor rather than where you can't. <laughs> I'm going to build a dock, fair enough. Excuse me while I reverse my boat. <clears throat> you can do that on a dinghy. I'm pretty sure you can't do it on something this size. You've got to be kidding me, it's so bad I can't even park backwards. <laughs> Can we not park, like, near the trees, or is that just a really bad place and annoying? It's so shallow over there that we won't get there. The extremes on this island are nuts. Aha. Why not? After a mere 24 hours, the reversing procedure was complete. Oh, that didn't act as I was hoping. Does that work, Asterix? Interesting. Exactly enough room for an elephant. And... That thing. And nothing else. Where's it go? D? Oh, I hit the other mast. Dang it. Power the dining plan, I assume. Fits up there? Okay. Well, so it does. This is fairly pretty. I quite like it, yeah. For a relatively, um, what would you call modest little, little spot? Hmm. Bossy, no like that. Yep, same range. Oh, there, I saw it for just a microsecond. 
Damn it. Yeah. I will be back in a moment and see if I can drag Capac away from uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> Fair enough. Good luck. Yeah, I don't, don't like our chances. Just give me a moment. I'll be back. <sighs> uh, no cap back today. Unsurprising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy is one of those games that if Either you're into it or you're not, but if you are into it, they seem to be pretty rabid. Yeah, that's a that's a very good way to say it. What should I be doing right now? Uh, right now is um, double checking that the ship is fully repaired and ready. Uh huh. Uh, and yeah, double checking materials in the repair chest to make sure that we've got enough of everything we use to repair the ship because we just used a bunch. So yeah, looking in here, we're a bit short on metal and a bit short on wood. But otherwise, we don't look too bad, actually. Um, um, do we... Do you want me to go and collect some wood from chopping down some trees, or...? Yeah, we might need to. Um, feel free to grab the bear that's on board and use him. Where's Baron? And I'll, um... Come with me, Baron. He's partly loaded with thatch for these guys here as well, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, should I off offload him? Uh, you can do that before you leave, it might save a bit of extra weight, yeah. Um, I love how I've got a single legendary plank at the back, apparently. <laughs> Where did that come from? Really, crew? Really? Eating me out of house and home? Uh, hmm. 
uh, Australia got the Final Fantasy VII remake early, so did Europe. Um, but they're not allowed to stream it or Excuse anything me. yet. It should be easier to drop stuff off the edge of a boat. It doesn't want you to do it when you're trying to carry a like a bird corpse off, for example. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna have to hack it up. Oh well. Chatting to us. No, surely not. Unacceptable. Well, I presume we're Mr. You are Mr. Slim. Uh, that sounds rather like me, yeah. Is there a reason, reason Baron's carrying a cart? Yes, because, um,. It, he can put that on, build a storage box in it, and he can drag a cart around. Oh, okay. So it's like uh, yeah, like the horse. So so it's literally there for times where you're like, oh god, I need to carry more than I thought I did. Let me whack yeah. the cart on. <laughs> Fair enough. Because normally those moments also include enough resources to be able to build a box, you know. Yeah. Okay, I gave them their 15,000 thatch. They were after. No, oh, good suggestion on the swivel mount, guys. That's They've got so much more uh, HP than the railings. Oh. Good evening. Oh, hi there. Bear on away. Uh, Mr. Slim. You'd never know. We, uh, we are representatives of Ghost Industries. And... I wasted. I don't think I've got my um, mute and speak key working anymore because of the stream rig thing. I've still got to figure that one out. You hurt bear on your rotten thing. I should probably listen to the um, 
negotiations that are going on. Well, that makes sense. Rhino for stone, elephants for wood. What did giraffes do? I swear I saw giraffes har harvesting something on one of our trips. Uh, no, Zarakti, you got that the opposite way around. I'm healthcare, CapEx retail. But uh, the restrictions that are in place here mean that CapEx is still at work. Yeah, Pucol, I can see a few people get really sucked into this and then get into the grind and then it becomes more job than fun. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I kind of leave myself as just a little lackey so I can join in when I want and I don't have to feel like I've left a mess for anyone else to clean up. Uh, yeah, Pukov, we, um, that was all streamed, so we have done all those streams, I just haven't had time to edit them yet. Um, as has been brought up, my work has become a bit busier of late, and, um, because of the quarantine stuff, it's, it's more likely people will have to come off work for things they normally wouldn't. Uh, which is why I had to work some extra shifts last week. See you, Kunji. Oops. Oh my god, I wasn't muted. Sorry, I wasted. <laughs> you could win. Yeah. How go the negotiations?
Oh, helium's crime. I have my glider on me. Oh, you got a glider. No, you want a glider. I'll bring a glider when we get back. <laughs> cool. She might be able to make one here. Glider's fun. You said you mainly wanted wood, right? Primarily, yeah. How much a bit, do you want? A bit of thatch, etc. wouldn't hurt, but for that thing, five, six hundred? Oh, uh, I'll stop then. Yeah, the, the, it doesn't take that, and as you've seen, it doesn't take that much for repair materials, but yeah. you don't want to carry that much either, so it's constant sort of small stock-ups rather than anything more, you know? Yep, I might have collected too much. I've almost collected 2,000. <laughs> uh, not the end of the world. We do have a base here, after all. Sounds like they're still discussing my chicken offer. Now they're taking that seriously. Chicken offer? Yeah, I was going to buy one of their dudes for a couple of chickens. Oh. I'm tempted to jump the bear over the wall, but I suspect that if I jump the bear over the wall, I will not be getting the bear back out again. Yeah, Cold Order wouldn't be a pirate game without a bit of press gang. Here we are, Mr. Slim. 2,500 silver. Ready for uh, trade. That's a thousand, you have to bear with me a second. I keep forgetting the um, trick. The trick is pretty much dump it on the floor, then pick it up. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Alright. Let's see how badly I do, because it's been so long since I've tried to play one of these songs. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, I've stuffed it. <laughs> Have you considered not sucking? Have I considered not sucking? No. Drat. Do we care much? No. Yeah, fair play. <laughs> Let's try that again. Besides, dancing makes it easier. Oh, ha As a matter of fact, dancing actually causes it to be harder because the dancing is client-side and... Well... <laughs> yeah, the, the dancing breaks it. Because it's not timed correctly. Yeah. Oh, well, in that case, I think I'll pick you. We have our own accordion player. <laughs> oh, here it goes now. Leave the fuck of my people! Where's your accordion, Leopard? <laughs> oh, don't. I, fi I actually passed it. And there it is. There it is. I think. Yeah, I passed. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I was meaning to fail! <laughs> Don't! Oh, I was meaning to fail and I actually succeeded. 
Uh, what have I got? That's pretty funny. Oh, whatever. <laughs> At any rate, thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Stone. If you ever need anything more, please don't hesitate to send us a raven. Yeah, I will do. I will do. Oh, happy seas? Happy sailing? Indeed. Uh, I'm assuming you're a well traveled man, but I suggest visiting a few more islands while you're Oh, no, I'm aware that I should really be travelling a little more than I am at the moment, but yeah, soon to you. Nicely done, sir. You got the one for coin boost? Uh, I'm only carrying a couple on me at the moment. Uh, she heard the siren's call, is that the one you mean? Oh, that's it's all very good. hard to find a musician to actually play with around here. <laughs> I bet. I think you're being, uh, beckoned. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Got him! Oh boy. Bye! Wasted? Where are we going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, it doesn't work both no! ways! Why doesn't it work both ways? <laughs> oh, you killed me too! <laughs> we pulled you off. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Such lag to it as well. I was like, oh, Wasted's dead. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm okay then. And then, nope, I get pulled off. <laughs> Drat. Damn and blast. That is unfortunate. Oh, God. Rattlesnake. Oh man, now I've got to do my sextant thing again. <laughs> nope, that's Wasted's inventory. That's mine. Yeah, I reckon the more purple I get mine, the more obvious it'll be when you open it up. <laughs> you will open it up and be like, nah, that's not mine, there's far too much purple in here. Yeah, that, you've also got a much nicer set of clothes than I do. Actually, that's not true. It's not? They are the same clothes as you're wearing. They've just got a skin on the top of them. Ah. Well. Uh, should we go I'm... shoot some things? If suddenly, he's, he's bloodthirsty. Well, that's what we were here for, wasn't it? To get a little yep. bit of repair stuff and then out shoot a few things. Drop off the bears briefly so we don't... No, that's what... Actually, no, anything will work. What are you getting? Crew for the... the food for the crew. Ah. Damn many crew just eats an insane amount. Oh, I've got some food on um, the bear. Uh, it's... Oh, it, it, if we could whack in like a thousand would be great, to be honest. Um, yeah, I, I, cause, well, cause I killed a few things and I, um, picked up a whole bunch of chili. I'll go check how much cool. I got on. You can press F when you're sitting on the bear, by the way, to access its inventory. Oh yeah, but I left it back at the base and you killed me off the side Ooh, of the mountain. yes. <laughs> I gotta swim back first. And you killed me off the side of the mountain. <laughs>
How much do you have, Baron? Um, Baron's got, yeah, maybe like 900 wild chili. Cool. I'll bring him around. Go and collect a bunch more then. Do you want to grab some to load up the ship for me? before I head up? What? Yeah, uh, what you could do for... You see, you see all these tiny little bushes up the mountain and amongst the rocks? Oh, yeah? That's berries. Oh, uh, we'll go do that then. Oh uh, yeah, all the Shisandra. It's a good thing you don't have to give the crew an even um, amount of vitamins. A proper, like, meal, yeah. <laughs> Although, for lols, you can equip them if you want to. Right. So you can, if you fancy, make yourself a full, you know, outfit, crew, you know, crew uniform. And uh, you can give them, like, uniform and weapons and, yeah. <laughs> Bit weird, but cool. One of the things you and me apparently need to do at some point yes, sir. is go visit a whole bunch of islands. Oh, yeah. Probably Under the, not uh, today, though. One of the um, buffs for having visited a whole bunch of stuff was it Veteran Explorer. Gives you a skill that means that you move faster when you're overloaded by two and a half times. Oh. Have you got that buff now? No. Uh, uh, how much is Baron carrying now? Uh, quite a bit. I'll just get a bit. Oh, uh, yeah, Baron's okay. I think. Um, obviously, dependent on things I have no control over, but there's a reasonable chance that the end of this weekend, early next week, I will have a reasonable chance of being able to do a bit more with you. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine things are a bit up in the air at the moment, and yeah, <laughs> unsurprisingly. But yeah, whatever fits, man. All good. Encumbered speed becomes the normal walk speed, essentially. Wait, do I overload a bear on? Possible. Nope. Nope. Wait, 705 of 2200. Uh, if he's acting weird and not moving properly, get off him and get back on again. Sometimes he sort of disappears through the ground a little bit. Mmm. Turtle meat for bear on. Mmm, the tastiest. Only the tastiest. Alright, I think we got enough food for the crew. I got a few thousand on me. Ooh, okay. Oh dear. <laughs> what you turned to my bear? Um, He's drowning him. The poor bear. No. Get back here, bear. Now swimming in the sky. It was weird. Yep. Let's voodoo magic. Let's just go to the other side of the boat, shall we, bear? Look a little more stable there. Nope. 
Bear does not appear to move with waves and... There we go. Bear is on boat. Oh man. Something has gone very wrong. Things were running kind of smoothly and now everything's gone really bad on my end. Oof. Yeah. Oh. Drap. We haven't changed cell, have we, either? So it's not that. No. Alice is not liking me today. Uh, no guys, it's not Kapak eating the bandwidth. This is something else entirely. Uh, where does the food need to go for the crew to eat it? Uh, right, at the front of the boat middle deck, there is an, a lot of mess table, sorry. That's where it goes, okay. This doesn't improve, I may just uh, do a quick reload at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe just reconnecting to the server might help. I don't know if it picks a new path or something, but it might do. Yeah, routing wise. Hmm. This is not going to be pleasant for anyone watching. back in a moment. Yeah, everything looks good at the mo until I open Atlas. Well, that's Good better than it was. <laughs> this port here is how you get a World's End bar poster. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I can see that. <laughs> uh, screenshot. <laughs> ah, can't get close enough to you to get a nice high res shot, though. It's the stupid text! Oh, tell me about it. Oh, don't forget you press backspace to remove the UI. Uh-huh. Did not know that. I actually had a... So the second stream, when I um, uploaded it from Twitch to YouTube the second time I joined you on Atlas, there's a mm -hmm. shot that YouTube automatically chose as a thumbnail, which is actually pretty cool. It's me staring up at you with almost, almost dead and you've got your two guns pointed at me. <laughs> nice. yeah, I don't know why the wheel turned out amazing. It's because the wheel looks like it's properly painted instead of stained. Yeah. So the black looks good on it, like the black current looks good on it, whereas... Yeah, that's annoying. Why doesn't the wood look like that everywhere else? Yeah, it looks... So the wheel looks like you've got grey timber, 
painted with charcoal or black. Whereas the rest of it looks like brown timber painted with purple. Yeah. That, 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 the wheel's how I want it to look, and the rest of it's how it ended up. <laughs> yeah, it's all really worn paint, and whereas this is kind of like... It's a different way that, it, that they've done the wearing. Yeah, because the ground isn't, when you look at it, it isn't even like it's a, like a stain. No, that's just really heavily worn paint. Yeah. With yellowish timber underneath rather than grey. Yeah. So it takes away from the colour because you've got, at a distance, you've got that mix of yellow and purple. Yeah, and the, the timber colour probably makes sense given it would be oak. Hmm. For a ship like this. Cool, uh, let me get my sextant up. Uh, should we take the bear off? Ooh, dope. Yes, that's probably a good plan. Uh, yeah, I, I found if you run around like the whole way around the side of the building, you can get the bears up onto the... Um, they've got a little space in front of their ship dock where, at least temporarily, they should be safe. All the way around the building, you say? Yeah, like opposite end to where we are. Oh, yep. Yeah. Gonna roll along that side deck. Mm-hmm. Yep. You'll find Captain Carrot already around there. Yep. Baron is now lined up behind him. No, sadly we can't adjust saturation. That's not something we can do, Russian. It's just this is how it comes out. So you kind of learn how to paint clothes and rustic blocks and things like that one way, and then you've got to relearn the entire colour palette for how it looks when it's applied to ship parts. Oh, that's right. Sextant game. Join me, Mr. Splitsy. At the top of the past, why don't you? Yes, I shall. You can't change ship names in this Hadmere without spending 10,000 gold on it. Or is it 15,000? It's some horrid amount. That's a lot of gold. We've had rules in previous seasons that was just like, well, don't change your ship name regardless, because that way we can identify who you are, you know, you know? Yeah. And hide from past crimes or whatever it might be. Damn you clouds, I can't see which way this thing goes. Yeah, a lot of the time the trick seems to be to just get vaguely where you think it might be and then look around the tunnel and eventually the little outline will pop up <laughs> and you'll be like, oh yeah, there it is. Behind all that stuff. Well, I've got enough to get a boost. One moment, I'm going to shut the window. People are starting to wake up, and it sounds like the bin men are outside. Noisy! No, oh, no, lost it now. Hmm. They should have something back in that base that I can repair my grappling hook at.
It, it does seem to be that the that it was a memory leak of some description because restarting the game has improved my frame rate dramatically. So at least that's something. Rising. Yes. I'm gonna go and try and make something quickly. There is a item you can make called a lieutenant's podium that will let you help me control the NPCs on the ship. Oh. Because there are times in the middle of combat, for example where you're trying to turn and turn the sails at the same time. Yeah. Well, you won't, and you can't they're on both. the same key bind. It's not possible. Yeah. So. <laughs> now I just got to remember where it is. Ship add-ons probably, right? No. Ooh, do I have it? Or am I been an idiot? I don't have it. All right, ignore me. Oh, I need four more skill points for that. Yeah, try. Right. Oh, cool. Cheers, Jack. When I get back, at least. Cool. Yeah, next time I'm on, I'll have to get you to tell me what I should spec myself into, because I've got a lot of unnecessary skill points to spend. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, if your plan is, is, as you said earlier, to be sort of, to use, use your own phrase, the lackey, yeah, then then there's definitely something along the lines of like a lackey spec, which is all about, you know, basically being very good at manning stuff, repairing things, mm -hmm. um, carrying things around, not using loads of food, being able to swim really fast, that sort of stuff. Yeah. You know, for example, if you get the, um, the full swim speed stuff, uh, you can dive without needing a diving platform. Yeah. You have to be quick, obviously, but yeah. You can make some clothes that give you plus oxygen, for example. Okay. Cool. Um, I will also point it out, I'm getting very old. I am 76. <laughs> Oh god, if you're 76, then yeah, I'm 82. Yeah. We will, at some point soon, be getting a quest. <laughs> okay. It'll just pop up. I think it's age 90 it's triggered at. No. And it just pops up, and it is the quest to visit the Fountain of Youth. Uh, which is a fun little adventure, because it's on one of the Power Stone Islands. Um, and in the same cave you have to go into in order to turn in the stuff for the Power Stones. So it's full of all sorts of mythical nasties. Uh, and you need to run in and touch the Fountain of Youth, at which point it gives your character a permanent buff and resets you back to being 20. And Sweet. every time you visit the Fountain of Youth, you get another stack of that buff. Ah, oh, so the more you die and then get that ability to visit it, or do you, can you visit it when you're younger? No, you have to hit 80. Uh, 90, sorry. Uh. But I think you're right in that um, the more you die, the faster you age. Oh, up to three times. They changed it now. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, so I, I guess it's kind of like a... Um, it's a catch-up mechanic, so that if you're really bad and you're dying a lot, you can get yourself slightly better. It's it's a rel remember where you made your character it asked you for two names. Yep. It's a relic of the fact that initially they intended for you to hit old age and die. Uh, at which point you would continue your family generationally and you would become go from Baron von Slender to Geoffrey von Slender to Adam von Slender and so on was their original intent. Uh, and it was going to have permadeath 
the game was going to have a version of permadeath for all intent, intents and purposes. Uh, and they backed away on it for some reason. Yeah. yeah, apparently the accelerated aging from death is also gone, I suspect, as part of that. They, they had a grand plan and they, it just was impractical use, not that great. Yep. So where are we Entirely to up to you, D. Uh, we might be stopping for two seconds because Dee's asleep in that building behind us and he's just ah. said, need another hand. It's entirely up to you, mate. Quarters at just the right moment. Indeed. <laughs> And yes, but to be honest. Hey, D. Good do? evening, D. Or afternoon, or uh, whatever time okay. of day it is for you. It's, it's very evening. It's 10.30 in the evening, but that's okay, because I found out today that my work is closed indefinitely. Huzzah! <laughs> that doesn't sound like a huzzah. No. I mean, I can, I can play as much Atlas as I want now, guys! Okay, see in the positives. I I'll I'll, I'll like that. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta try something. Yep. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I, I did read the post on your uh, Discord. Yeah. Yeah, that's harsh, dude. But, I mean, fingers crossed. Oh, looks like uh, Nab's here, too. Oh, really? Um, two seconds. We're just going to invade your stream, One, right? two, three. Yep, okay. I'll, that was a two seconds. Let me just double check I can actually fit all of you on the boat before we sink a bit. Oh, 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 the shark's eating uh, someone. Decent plan. No, I'm good now. <laughs> good evening, numbering. Nope, nope, not hearing anything. Nope. Now it's lighting up, but I don't hear anything. Up. Second, guys, there's a problem because we were using my computer. Yeah, multi PC audio setups. Okay, can Great you fun. Hear me now? Hello. Hello. Hi. There we go. Yes, that's uh, that's what happens when we are talking to people and streaming it through his computer, and then suddenly I'm trying to talk on my own, and that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I mean, I don't usually let her talk on her own. It's kind of a new thing. You oh, know, someone like, just got here. You know. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just out of striking distance. <laughs> Intentionally. Well, I've had a bit of good to... evening. Yeah. Both of you? We were yeah. battery <laughs> chatting, weren't you? Um. Yeah, we, uh, we do a thing for our patrons. Uh, it doesn't have a schedule, but we had told them that we were going to do the thing, and then... I got on Atlas, completely forgot the thing, and then we saw somebody like, hey, what's going on? And we're like, oh, crap. And then we went. What's going on about that thing? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a, like a little chat with just us and the the you know handful of patrons we've got. It's it, it's nice. It's nice. I'd recommend it, but uh, it might get chaotic for you. For uh, if you did something similar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I meant by recommend. Uh, no, like no, yeah. no, I, 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 I did for a while I have something along those lines and yeah it did get to the point where it's like this doesn't really work anymore yeah, like, it, it, yeah. it becomes untenable as, as fun as it is so we're enjoying it <laughs> all right I am I'm here finally it takes so long for my computer to download or to open all the mods or whatever ship figurehead mod yeah seems to take ages the ship essentials or whatever it's called got some some kind of yes. crazy textures and apparently this game handles mods the same way space Engineers does is ah, i don't care if you've already downloaded it we're going to download it again <laughs> i'm still time. getting used to the to the deck plan of dining plan <laughs> it's it doesn't make sense for a ship but for a restaurant it makes great sense oh yeah 
I went the wrong way. Where are you? Oh. I have, I well, have the advantage on this that, um, yeah, there's not much of a deck plan here. There is a deck. Thing. <laughs> yeah. There's you a guys, deck, there is guns. <laughs> I got so confused because Problem Child has the same paint job. As we're, our we're close. Ships. We're not quite the same. I know, but it confused but we're, me. We're close enough. I quite like the fact that it was, uh, you know, it, it's, it's similar but not quite the same. You've got a bit more of the, um, sort of the purple vibe going on, whereas ours yes. is a bit darker than that. I mean, uh, and the, oh, and the gold I trim on the sails I like, but again, was a bit. I tried that on this, and it was a bit ostent ostentatious for like the warship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I see that. Uh, I heard you mention something about lighting, like light globes and stuff. I yep. can build those if you need them. Yeah, have a look around on the inside of the ship, uh, and I think you'll very quickly see what I mean. In the back area, like at night, you can literally see nothing down there. <laughs> I can see that. Do you want me to just uh, go grab a couple and whack them no, down? A couple of glows would be perfect, to be honest. Or something like that, you know. I don't know what lights they have on offer. I've not played with the eco stuff very much at all. Our wall lanterns, but the light globes are better because you can paint them. Light globes, are, uh, anything from the eco mod is just fine because it doesn't consume oil. Whereas if you do it the base game way, you have to keep refilling them. Yeah, but I noticed you repainting Splitsy's lantern earlier to get rid of the, the yellowy light. Mm -hmm. And all the other, all, everything but the light globes give the really yellowy flame flickery oh, light. Oh, fair, so. that's a fair point. Although I, I prefer the flame flickery light to the just the in your face, it's pure yellow. Yeah, if you look on the side of dining plan, on the outside there are a couple lanterns. Those are the side lanterns that you can mount to walls. Didn't and then the light get globes those on the, the outside. Ones. Sneaky. I didn't know either. I just kept trying, and it worked. Hey, oh, that team. looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Capac sticking out of the back of our ship yet? No. It's amazing. Can I kill sleeping Capac? <laughs> he it is, is possible, yeah. Yeah, you can. Oh, but he is, he's sleeping, His like, almost all of his body is sticking out the back of Decent Plan over there. I don't oh, think it's Dining plan. plan that he's on. Yeah, oh. it's on the other side. That'd be why I didn't say it. That's dining plan I want. Problem child. We have random people sleeping on like all of our other ships. <laughs> Zerinia's body is hanging out somewhere on one of Mediocre them. Mediocre plan. Well, that's where she was. I think we have to drag her back over there. I think she's in dining plan right now. Yeah, you're right. Ow! It's fine. Oh, I'm no, gonna get my shock. All right, I got oh. I got the light globes. I'm being punished for my attempts to kill Kavak. That will. I mean, <laughs> for once the it's game like, is actually for on his side. <laughs> I'm gonna put. I've got four. I've got one forward and one aft. Do you want me to go down to the bottom deck and light that area too? Oh jeez. Ah uh, no, there's the nothing wall. down there. My the bottom oh, yeah. deck only has a deck because I feel like you had to, but there is nothing down there <laughs> because you can't even build anything okay. down there. It's so pointless on this vessel because the. Actually, no, you can down here. here. There's, there's a bed down here. Uh, I suppose if, at some point I could put a smithy down here, I guess, but... Yeah. Light. Neither of... Actually, no, we'll be alright. There you go. You got lights. and You can always pick them up and move them if you want to. Oh, uh, yeah, that's way... I can see... Thank you all. Ability I can also to make see them bright much orange preferred. if you want. Um, less keen on that idea. <laughs> so uh, you you dye those like a normal one, I guess. Yeah, you yeah you just dye them and they uh, change color. That's how I got the the purple club lighting. Oh, the, 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 yeah, the, uh, the the very pretty lighting indeed. That's how Subpoena got her pretty lights, too. Uh, or do you have to paintbrush them? Oh, you have to. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you have to paintbrush them. That's what I meant. Okay. By like regular things. You dye them with paintbrush. It uses less paint that way, which is nice. 
Yep, I just thought I could get away with it dying it now when I don't actually have a paintbrush um, aboard. I should hang some from the rigging of dining plan. Ooh, Ooh. pretty. How you doing over there, Splitzy? I'm on my way back. Trying to avoid killing? being eaten by the sharks. I like the fact that uh, because of the slight flaw in how that rear deck is laid out and the fact that it's a bit of a grid hash, you actually can get a bit of light up through that little gap under the stairs. Yeah, you can see it right there. But it's actually lighting up this central bit of it as well. Very nice. Are you going to live, Splitzy? Oh god, there's another it's one. coming up the side. There's right so here. many sharks. There's blood in the water. And it belongs to Splitzy. Yes. I mean, we could just shoot him now and get it over with. Don't He's that. here. He's safe. <laughs> no, I'm not. Kind of. Bye. <laughs> I cannot. Can I see? The ladders are so annoying in this as well. Yeah, try dealing with them with lag you know? as well. Uh, no, I'm uh, even for me though, dude. They're like they're, you know. Uh, I imagine for you, it, it's incredibly laggy. But I'm just it's saying, even, even for someone that's got a low ping, there's there's got to be a good three quarters of a second delay for it to actually pull you up onto the ladder. Yeah, which is just the right amount of time for you to go. I didn't press E, did I? I didn't get it at the right time. Let me press E again. Oh, just in time to drop off instantly because that bit updates straight away. Mm-hmm. Shall Looks like we, uh, all aboard. Shall we away? Oh yeah, I'm on it. We shall, we shall away. Bangers away. Oh, sorry, no, that wrong, wrong uh, hymn for the captain. At the uh, bottom, back of the vessel, on the right-hand side, you will find a small box. That small box contains the things that you may need to repair, bail out, and otherwise the ship. There are hammers in there, there's buckets in there, and there are replacement planks and gun ports in there. Otherwise... You know where the guns are. Pew pew. Alright. Are we... What are we up to right now? Are we doing flotsam stuff? Or are we... Uh, we're gonna go and blow the hell out of some ships of the damned, I thought. Uh, so this might help with that? Yeah. I'll do it Tip anyway. the damn sided. Stage one, check if he has any friends. Oh, man. Okay, this was not the song I was sucking at playing before. It's different. <laughs> what? Any of you guys got a spyglass, by the way? Uh, I do. Call out what level, etc. these guys are. Level nine, off to port, and... Starboard, the Brigantine's three. I didn't get a chance to look at the schooner disappeared too fast. What's the galleon? Level 9. Okay. Oh, this one's a lot harder. Looks Better. Like they're relatively spread. Oh, hello. Got another one in target. Three brigantine. Level 3 brigantine. Oh, but another and, one just popped in. And a rather larger friend that he wanted us to meet. Level apparently. 2. We were nope. running from a set of these in Dining Plan once with Capac aboard, and he threw his spear at it. It was hilarious. <laughs> you can actually, and we had to do this in Season 1 because we ended up with one basically on the beach, but you can actually kill them with hand tools. Yeah. In the first season, we had just an army. One ended up on the beach where all of our docks were, and we had an army of people just spawning and then running to the beach, beating them up with their fists and whatever they could grab. That's awesome. Yes, the sails apparently have to be repaired from personal inventory, which seems a bit stupid. I mean, all it needs is fibres. So if someone doesn't mind going down and grabbing a few fibres from the resource chest, if you hold E on the sails, you can repair the actual sail cloth itself. And we're a bit okay. raggedy. Damn it. Once you stuff up one, it's so hard to get back in the rhythm. Oh. 
I would offer to play it, but I respect and now cannot play the accordion. <sighs> Why is the repair in a different spot on the wheel every time? And it seems to uh, switch places with demolish which is what I don't want to do. Yeah, um, now, but unfortunately I've only got the hardest one with me that gives us the extra loot. Oh, if you're doing going for an extra loot one. I just missed. Yeah, not much. I'm wondering if we might get lucky and pull Splitsy an easier song to play. <laughs> Basically. Damn it. Yeah, I can... <sighs> I'm getting within 30 seconds of that thing being done, but I think this is one of the hardest songs. Of all of them. Are you turned? No! It's okay, honey. I'll get it. I let it go, because I'm stupid. You'll get it, huh? I did get it, and then I thought I didn't. So, I let it go. Because I lagged. It's actually left a bag, look. Look back behind us, there's a little... Dee, go jump in the water, it'll be fine. There's a, there's a dolphin next to it, that's normally a good sign. Uh, but yeah, there is actually a little bag where that was that it's left behind. Well done, Splitzy. Can't see mm. the bag. Is it off it? the port? It's off the port, isn't it? It's port aft. I got a... I got a... Um, well, I'm off the ship. So oh. am I. And oh, there's a shark! And there's a <laughs> Uh, can we help with that? We can shoot it. That's that's the main way we help. Can't get an angle up. Oh, stupid ladders. <clears throat> Rather have space engineers ladders every time. I don't care. Oh. It's decided to peace out for the time being. Good. Well, At least until I jump back in it. the water. The good news is, is I'm not thirsty anymore. Alright, I'm going to oh, annoy you all again by trying to play this stuff, one more huh? time. I'll yep. get your stuff. I'll get oh, it. I'm already in the water. Oh, okay. It's right by the ladder, so that's helpful. I got the box. <laughs> yeah. So close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Frosty, I know, I know that the silent crew can play the accordion, but that just feels like cheating. Giving them to the silent crew is cheating. And you can get better, but you get better buffs by the player by a player doing it. From oh, cool. Okay, at least you do. At least there's something I, there. Yeah. I have one for the war drums that increases repair speed. Yeah, we don't have any war drums yet. Working on. I also that that little bag also happened to have a structure in it, a journeyman large stone wall, just kind of hanging out in that bag. That that's where I keep mine as well. Yeah. I mean, Very expensive sense. those items. <laughs> How hard it is to play the accordion while drunk. Great from dear me. What? What? It's a fair thing to ask. Surely. I mean, <laughs> don't you want it to get easier? Well, for the hard ones, yeah, but for the medium and easy ones, they're really easy. I can usually get them first time. This is the level two. In Slightly coming. damaged. Man the cannons! Turning in, you guys should get a line of fire as we cross her. Yep, waiting for the arc. Ah! <laughs> 
I what I don't understand is like I'll go up and I press E and it bring it brings up the wheel instead of giving me the ability to actually man it. I think that was We aren't just fighting that one. See? Yep, we are fighting a lot. Both they're both out of arc. I know. They're being really annoying. Please hit. No! Oh. Okay, the important thing to look out for while we're doing this, by the way, is if at any point you see an icon in the top right-hand corner with an symbol of water, uh, and frequently it'll say your ship is sinking at the same time, <laughs> and it's time to run and find the plank that's missing and replace it with the one from the box. Oh, they are really angry and really not in a good position for broadsides. <laughs> Look at them. Just, like, they're protecting each other even. No, running out of that one. Oh. Get out of it. No, 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 no. Ooh. Please tell me that's it. I don't think, I think we're I close enough, are we? Oh, there we go. All right, I'm going to try and kite him a bit here. Guys on the rear. Yep, on the rear. Got him. I think I was just a bit late on that shot. A little too far. Yeah, sorry, this is the first, the first time I've tried that with this with this ship, so it's going to take a bit of practice, but looks like this might actually be a good one for us, because he desperately wants to broadside us. I wonder, I'm just seeing if it'll hit him with him moving. Yeah, remember we got a bit of extra range than it looks like. Oh, what the? That was so close. Come here, you stupid boat. Incoming! We should be alright in that. Same same thinking that I think we'll hit him from a bit of extra range. He's gonna really struggle to... Yeah, that's what I like to see. Speeding up a little. Got my hit. Oh, yep, that one's hitting. Speeding up a tad. That'll hurt you guys as well. <laughs> Can I take much more of this, Captain? Good hits, though. Keep it up. Yay. Yay. Nice, Nab. Sink it. Yeah, sink it. Nicely done. Right. I'm gonna run over where we got smashed on earlier up here. See what we got. We got smashed all down our left side as well. Hey, oh, sorry. Bloody. I think, I think we need to, this one's bad. I think yeah. I think we need to wait a little bit though to repair. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a like little delay, isn't there? Ooh. Yeah. Some of these down to three thousand out of eight. We got hammered pretty hard. Yeah, 3,000 out of 8 is this, um, concerning it's because those are the legendary ones as well. <laughs> the normal planks have only got uh, 6,000 total, so... Careful when playing with the Galleons. Roger that. It doesn't be a problem, it's when you've got two of them like that together. Mm -hmm. Well, we kind of did there. We just ended up ditching one of them with the whole yeah. Conti thing. I guess I've got some ammo to put in the ammo box, but there's not much else. Uh, did you manage to grab any? Was there any gold from that? Because if there uh, was, I'm missing one crew member on my right hand side downstairs. Do you want one of the crew? I've got 57, 57 gold on oh, me. Oh, 57 is so, plenty. Yeah. So I can I can go and fetch one if you want. If if, if you wouldn't mind, I've got a broadside crew missing on one side. Do you want me to just hook one of the crew in? It'd be nice to be able to. I don't think that works until you paid them. Answer. Oop. I'm pulling one up. It's always a good sign. 
Feel free to drop him again. You, you'll never get him over the lip, basically. They, for some reason, it's it okay. Just I got one. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're assuming I'm not having fun with this. <laughs> Did you He's going to see... take him with us, hanging off the side. Here you go, Dan. There's something that... to shoot at. <laughs> Did you see that Capac um, roped a, a dolphin the other day and was being dragged all over the ocean? Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> no. I need to try that now. What? <laughs> yeah. If you go to Capac's switch, you can see the clip. Uh, he He's going out, and I'm like, I don't know if the dolphins are actually physical objects. I don't think you can catch them. And he goes, nope, you can catch them. And he gets pulled off the ship. And I can just hear that in Capac, Capac's voice as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was uh, one of the more animated uh, voices I've heard out of Capac. Because even when he gets excited, he's still pretty kind of kind of level sounding. Um, and not this time. <laughs> How are we doing on fantastic. the bottom deck, out of interest? I'm going to go down there and check. Just now. a quick double check. I mean, there's supposed to be water down here, right? Uh huh. <laughs> I distinctly remember putting some there, so I hope it's still there. Otherwise, it's all escaped. And if it's less than 100 points of damage, don't bother, right? Yeah, like 100, 200 points, ignore it. I'd be on that. Give it a, give it a whack. There's like a minimum value for the uh, amount of resources it uses, but it's pretty cheap, thankfully. Yeah, they seem to like to hit us on the upper level of planks. Oh, this lady's following me around. Would you like to give her orders? If you walk her near the cannon that's not got anybody uh, down there, you should be able to hold E on her and just hit use cannon. Okay. Where'd you go? Where'd she go? She's oh, stuck God, on God, something. Blankly. Uh, she is warning. huge. Oh, there she is. You only have one crew slot left. I know. You're, you're at 18 huge. of 19. Ooh, that is like a, a um, big lady. Yeah. She is now on your cannon. Although her name is a lie. Yes. Good beard there. We we picked one up for you that was uh, your height, Jeffrey, Geoffrey. <laughs> Matchmaker. Not don't you start that now. Make me a match. You're the one who spelled it, Geoffrey. That's how Jeffrey is spelled. Uh. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Honestly, if you'd spelled it the other way, I'd have called you Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a ship behind us. Uh, is that the Ghost Galleon? Or that's is that the Ghost Galleon? No, 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 that's the Ghost uh, Industries guys, by the looks of things. Oh, okay. Ones we met, so met up earlier Galleon. with the um, interesting sails, we'll call them. Oh, no, it's not. That's not Ghost Industries. They have normal sails, I think. It's, no, it, I, I can't even tell. What on earth is that? It's the one that's got two know. speed, two weight, and two handling, because reasons. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's a... It's definitely a cargo ship. She's oh, got yeah. uh, cargo... Cargo racks. Temptation to Pyro, rising. Yarr -har? <laughs> <laughs> See... What she's got, I mean, not like we could carry enough to make it profitable. No, it wouldn't make any sense to do so, but. They might be following you because they recognize your ship, too. Yeah, this makes piracy difficult, I've got to be honest, when you're streaming it. <laughs> yes. We could drag them right into this uh, Brigantine of the Dam and see what happens. I mean, if they sink, we're allowed to grab the wreckage, right? Uh, no, I think our plan is to kill that uh, Brigantine of the Damned, in fact. Yeah, easy peasy level three. Easy peasy level three, easy? Yes. Pressing on starboard. Oh, 
Aw, oh, crap. I thought that uh, it wasn't loaded. <laughs> so close, Beth. Oh, dang it. Gonna swing us around into it. Nice. Was that us or was that them? That nah, was them, that was them. Do we take the We got a crab on board. No, yeah, that means it's Federation then, Roger. Probably. Oh, what? Oh, you missed. Yeah, I was just short. I mean, yes. Oh, There's also it, elephants and about 12 other animals on board, judging by the lag I just saw as all of them shifted out of the back of the boat randomly. <laughs> Ah, oh, you turned just as I just as I was about to hook that. Oh, I'm sorry. Ha! I got it this time. <laughs> and someone's like, "There's a dolphin. That's a good sign." I'm just gonna be like, "You're a liar." Huh. Journeyman ballista turret. Was that a blueprint or an actual ballista turret? It is a blueprint for a journeyman blue turret and a common medium weight sail and 11 gold. Eh, I've got two spots on the front, just waiting for some ballistas. And then she'll yeah, be fully was... armed. I've got my swivels at the back, I've got my cannons, and then we've got uh, two spots either side for the ballistas. Either side of the cannon, either side of the catapult, sorry. I'm thinking of putting a couple ballista turret on dining plan just to make her look, I don't know, more fun. I think they're great for look um, really cool. keeping them safe as well from like wildlife, etc. Blisters are yeah. really, really good at shooting down wildlife. Especially if you intend to like go over to one of the power stone islands to uh, harvest resources, for example, which I'd really recommend because they're really good for it. But yeah, we've been, and we met a we met a cyclops. And you met a cyclops, yeah, yeah. And then you run into one and... of those, and I'll let let you into a little secret: the ballista will not help you. Um, so I was like, oh, this guy's chasing us, and we get onto the, we get onto the boat, and we're getting ready to leave, and I'm like, oh, you know what? I got cannons on this thing now, I'm gonna make short work of him. Rotate my <laughs> ship, fire, 30 damage. Yep. And then he comes up and takes a swing at us, and annihilates, like, four structures inside the ship. That like, sounds about right. And he that chases sounds like about a good, right. For a good, like, half mile from the island, I'm like, stop swimming after us. Sharks don't bother them because they're afraid of them. Can you blame them? No, not really. I'm afraid of them too. That's when we decided to leave A2. We going after this one? Mm-hmm. I'm going to try and take it on the other side this time so that we spread the damage out a little bit. I'm just sort of trying to keep us upwind of him so that yep. when we turn in, we've still got the advantage. He's level three. So you're going to take this one on the port side, is your plan? I'm going to try to, yeah. He's, he, he's clearly already aggroed and wants to try and stop us from doing that, mind. But I'm not going to let him. I love watching those cannon ports go. Yeah, I was literally about to say I really enjoy seeing them all open up. Good hits. I'm going to try and... Bring us round, slow us down to bring that same side round to bear again. Because if we slow, he misses a bit. Coming into that arc for you guys. The worst part about the lag on this is it seems like the worst lag is just trying to access an item. Yeah. Have it? It doesn't care. It's like, yeah, you're got, you got it, you're good. But I'll like click the cannon and nothing. I'll click the cannon again and then I'll get on the cannon, get off the cannon. I'm like, well, okay, that's what I wanted to do. Just like the ladders. I gotta be honest, eventually you do get a bit more used to it, but it does. Someone got a crew there, by mistake. <laughs> eventually you do get a bit more used to it, but uh, it's taken me like three seasons, and even then <coughs> I'll still do the double tap half the time. Got some journeyman large wood ship decks, got some fine medium wood gun port. That one's not a blueprint, it's an actual structure. I've uh, got a fine ship cannon, that's a structure as well, and got some liquid flame. That was a good one. Yeah, for 
relatively low level. Well, if you guys fancy gun ports to replace gun ports and cannons to put in them, yeah. I mean, we are planning on uh, making decent plan a combat ship. Mm -hmm. About all the all the buildy stuff in it, and throw throw crew on the rest of the cannons. Well, actually, I don't have the rest of the cannons. I'm gonna put two more cannons each side. We're allowed to fill the broadside, right? The low deck five on each side. Yeah, yeah. The only only ship that has the only limits are above deck. Like below deck, there is no limits, uh, and the only ship that has any strict limits in reality is the galleon, because uh, their broadsides can be a bit much. Yes. Again, we're running into that balance issue because I think it, a broadside galleons can just shred each other, can't they? Broadside like galleons, fully like the, the cannons, will will shred multiple planks off in one sh one shot. Yeah, know? it's it's the only problem with how this game does uh, ship building and damage. That I, I actually prefer the Sea of Thieves. Go down there, put a plank on it, bail yeah. out the water. I think that's really cool. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. It, it, it's that's far more um, engaging player-wise than the whole, oh, just try and have as much HP as possible and level your ship up as far as possible into resistance so that we, you know, we, we take 80% less damage, essentially, from everything that's hitting us. Yeah. I'm pulling in briefly for some repairs, by the way. There's a couple of combats without looking around unless I miss something. I'm new to this as well, so I'm I'm still getting hit more than we need to, you know. And ideally, we yeah. end up with a lieutenant's podium uh, that lets someone else manage the sails while I steer, for example. So you can do the two things at once because it makes the ship so much more agile when you can do that. Yeah. I think most of the damage is up top to the actual cannons and planks, or cannons and uh, railings. Doesn't look like we took much on the planks themselves. Oh, Nab, too small to be a blue man. Yeah, it broke my <laughs> heart. I, uh, so I'm a percussionist, I'm a theater practitioner, I love them, and I looked at the website, they were having auditions in my area, and I was like, <gasps> no! <laughs> I was just, just out of the height range because they want them to be so similar. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, it's intrinsic to so the act, yeah. right? That they're, they're that close to each other, so you can kind of understand why. Yeah. That's harsh. Good job. Um, what are we doing here? Repairing. Repairs. Ah. Uh, they've they've revamped some of the combat in Sea of Thieves too. Uh, they've got fire and explosive throwables now. They've got chain shot to take down other people's sails. It's really cool. Does anyone actually use it? Have they balanced it well yeah. enough that it's worth using? The chain shot, yeah. Like the chain shot can do damage to hulls, but it only makes they change the size of the holes. Like there are different size of holes that can go into a hull. Mm -hmm. There are big ones and small ones now. Um, and so then, chain and shot, that depends on how quickly you can fix it. Yeah, and chain shot will only make small holes, whereas cannons have a yeah, make both, chance yeah. to make the large holes. Yeah, depending on oh, how you hit. I don't know, um, but the chain shot instantly knocks down a sail if you hit it, or instantly destroys Ooh. the capstan or the or the, okay. the wheel, and you I have to repair them. Very hard to balance that sort of stuff, and it sounds like they've gone with the very extreme variant, which is that like chain shot really does work. Because in this. We have some chain shot, but it's not great. Same with they've got spike shot in this as well, but it's like it's not great. Oh, you're a percussionist, though, Nat. That means we've we've finally found the drummer for the band. That's oh. right. <laughs> what what's being? Going on a bit of a spree there. He got close to the boat and I didn't want him to land on it like the last one. <laughs> Yikes. Crunch, crunch. 
I didn't see damage numbers though. No, me neither. I didn't even hear the crunch, to be honest. Hmm. Don't know. I think we got given that one for free. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain though. I do think it's funny that you mentioned something about the blue man group conversation, but very, very pointedly did not say anything about Phantom of the Opera or, <laughs> or anything else. Oh, I, I love Phantom, etc. Um, you know, dad, I'm someone who's seen a, 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 I, while I haven't done it recently, I, my, uh, all of my school studies up to 18 were oh. in theater. That's fantastic. Uh, my, I, I, to the extent that I actually worked on The Lion King in London, in its original production, oh, that's uh, up in the rafters, helping run around. I ran a spot for a bit and a follow spot, and otherwise I was just rafter monkey for all intents and purposes. Right. Just because one of the productions we did at the school I was at, um, they hired in a professional lighting director who I got on really, really well with, and I was specializing in lighting at the time, and she was just like, hey, um, Given they've ended up insuring you, because I insisted on it in order to work on the job, and you've got this lighting insurance now, which is worth like six, at the time, it's like, they insure you, your liability is like six million. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, they have to, because there are so many places you can fall from. There's so many places you can kill yourself, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had the license. It was like, yeah, I'm working Lion King this summer. Do you want to come up and help me out there? I can't promise you're going to be doing anything on the board, but you will at least have a cool experience. So yeah, I did that. The reason I didn't That's say any more, is because uh, I was supposed to see the Blue Man Group. I didn't see the Blue Man Group, and it's part of my story about why I really, really, really don't like New York. Oh. <laughs> and I, I, I felt we might as well avoid that particular one for now. That's okay. Uh, fair enough. They, f um, I don't like here, New York they. Either. Yeah, we don't like New York. <laughs> um, we, we see them in Vegas mostly. Their Vegas show is a staple, so. Nice. But no, I've yeah. seen plenty. Cirque du Soleil is uh, a group that I've seen an absolute oh, ton. I love Cirque. What shows of Cirque have you seen? Uh, now you're going to push it. Now yeah. I've got to remember because they name them weird. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna, I, need to, I need to open on you, another screen the list of the... You could always be like, the one that does... The one that's themed like this. <laughs> uh, depending on how many you've seen, they probably run together a little bit. Not really. If he, Ka and La Nuba because, don't run together at all. No, they don't. If you are a theater, if you are a theater practitioner or person who has studied theater, particularly in set design and and uh, and other technical theater, they are not similar at all. <laughs> the design aspects are totally different. And Splitsy's allergic to theater. I can hear him sneezing in the background. Okay, uh, I have seen. Cirque du Soleil, the original but a later version of it. I have seen Satin Blanco, Alegria, Quidam. Uh, what else is in here? Totem. Wow, those are shows that are no longer really running, are they? Or are they? A lot of them are know. older shows that are no longer yeah, running. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's awesome. Alegria Did you study was mostly the standout. Technical? Uh, I uh, originally I was fully acting, and it was only in the last two years that I moved into technical. That that happens, doesn't it? Where you're an actor and you're like, well, this is getting me nowhere. I guess I'll do something it's, else. I it like. wasn't even that. It was a sudden realization that while you know I was a passable actor, in reality I was surrounded by a bunch of people that were a lot, lot better than I was. Yeah. Oh man. And I was uh, better off moving into an area where it favoured my skills. Get more AKA money that way anyway. AKA something <laughs> more technical. Because, uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's always kind of been my thing anyway, so. It's almost the exact same story as why I stopped going to school for film production. I was like, I'm going to be a producer. And then I was like, oh, I'm middle of the road, skills pretty good in this tiny school in this smaller town and I'm not getting anywhere with this. So I went and got a job in an aircraft plant. <laughs> it's worked out okay, though. 
Yeah, but you make you make some fun scripts, so it's okay. Hobbies. Yeah, had opportunity later down the line to bring it back as a hobby, basically, indeed. I miss theatre. But that's why I sing a lot. I'm always singing. Oh, yeah. Theatre is its own special thing. There is nothing quite like the the backstage vibe, especially True. as you, oh, you yeah. build up to you know, your opening night, whenever it might be. And, and, and you've gone through all that work and everyone's so hyped and everyone's like on hyperdrive just charging around everywhere. Yeah, the electricity the... of opening <laughs> yeah. night is crazy. That, when the... When the... Oh, stage... What am I thinking? Stage... The person who's really in charge backstage, not the director. Stage manager. The stage manager. Stage yeah. manager. Why couldn't I think of the word manager? She stage manager and technically minutes. often the DSM as well, in reality. <laughs> that five minutes and the everyone's deputy. like, thank you, five, and everyone's just super, like, vibrating with the energy you're talking about. Yeah, five minutes, I'm already up in the box, to be honest. Well, yeah. I'm just talking about the actor experience. <laughs> no, indeed. Yes. No, I've, I've had the actor experience as well, uh, but... Yeah, but five minutes I'm up in the box normally. The only it's, technical stuff I, pre I, I had that bit. was uh, I helped build a couple sets in a, in a few high school productions and did uh, did a lot of that stuff. I did uh, uh, we did some set building for the play Arsenic and Old Lace. If you've ever seen that one, no, I haven't. It's pretty. It's fun. hilarious. I think you'd like it. Oh, fair play. But uh. Yeah, we actually built an entire staircase, like, to code staircase for the set. <laughs> I, oh, as my character, had to charge up it screaming, charge, because my character Teddy Brewster thought he was Teddy Roosevelt and the stairs were San Juan Hill. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I should watch this. We'll see. <laughs> it's pretty Somewhere. Uh, Something a bit weird going on here. Roger that. It's not it's not as good as the foreigner in my opinion, but I The Foreigner's pretty good too. Yes, the foreigner is hilarious. So I am going to have to leave you guys to your theatre discussions. No, no, no I'm just leaving. Put myself in the lower decks. Away. <laughs> uh can I ask you Get to do something slightly different? Uh put my equipment you... in something. Put your equipment in the box and fast travel on the bed back to one of our bases and I'll bring your equipment back with me. Okay. Oh, it, what it does, it avoids some difficulties logging in again when you next come yeah. to log in, if you're in the right place. Basically, if I change cell, um, the server, when you click the rejoin button, will try and rejoin where it thinks you were, which is not where you are, and you get caught in a rejoin loop. Uh-huh. Well, I have now got nothing on me. Is there a bed here? Yeah, the bottom deck. It's like the only thing on the bottom deck. <laughs> Right at the front. And the reason you put them at the front is because if the servers are really laggy, it takes so long to spawn that if the bed's at the back, people pop out, pop into existence already off the boat, out the back. Ah. So if you put it at the front, it gives them the entire length of a boat worth of lag to pop into existence <laughs> before they disappear into the sea. Right. Hmm. Atlas things. I love the names that they they give the silent crew. I like the fact that they didn't make their um. They've clearly got this random generator for the names. I like the fact that they were completely unbothered about making it like sex agnostic. So you you, you just as easily get a bearded Jane as you get a bearded Jack. <laughs> to be honest, I think bearded Jane is a better pirate name. Only because you've got Firefly on the brain. True enough. Jane. Oh, the she's going to do it. And they call Jane. He robbed from the rich and he stole from the poor. Stood up to the man and he showed him what for. Uh, the I hero might have left of Canton, you all know his name. Um, Sorry, we sing that on New Year. Feels like. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> I may have left clothes. Just for you guys, if you want to pick up any downstairs. Oh, I'll go check. This <laughs> is the level of nerdery present at 
wasted New Year's events. <laughs> Sounds awesome. The, mo honestly. the most commonly sung and played song is the Hero of Canton. From I Marvel. love it. That is fantastic. By the by the way, Splitsy, before you go, I wanted to mention that it was nice to catch you. We've missed yeah. you. Yeah, I haven't seen you guys in a bit. It's been a few weeks. Hope Hopefully, you're staying not safe, sir. So long. And you too, you guys too. I will see you all soon. I'm sure. Yeah. Take care, Splits. Stay safe. Later, everybody.